Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's a pseudo activist you may be asking yourself right now? Well, this girl, this chick on the res is well versed in any mainstream activist activity that is going on in Indian country or mainstream protests that are happening in Indian country. Um even though she is well versed in either the activist activities or the protests, she will totally ignore all the other activist activities and protests that are going on in the country because they don't involve Native Americans or the issues themselves are not Native American focused. Surprisingly though, she has had ample opportunity to go to the front lines of whatever mainstream activist activity that's going on in, in the country. But she always comes up with some lame excuse as to why she cannot go. <laughs> and suffice it to say, all of her excuses she has used, they are totally lame. Yes, I said it, the pretty one. Unfortunately, that is all she has to offer to the relationship. She doesn't cook. She doesn't clean. She doesn't even wash her own clothes. She will drop her clothes off at a laundromat or to her mom's and have them get washed there. She lacks the conversational skills to engage in things like politics, whether they're national or tribal, um, sports, whether they're national or tribal, <laughs> social issues, powwows, um, in general, small talk. She can't even talk about the weather. About the extent of her talk about the weather is it makes her hair frizzy when it's humid out. <laughs> um, she may have a full-time job. She may even have a part-time job. But whatever the case may be, her place of employment will most likely be at some trendy shop like Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Her social skills involve heavily flirting with both dude and chick at the club. She will never go to the bars. And surprisingly enough, she will never have to pay for her drinks or to pay cover at the club. That is the pretty one. She has never been to the res, and her idea of roughing it is a Motel 6 in some small rink-a-dink town. And that will probably be only for a night. She powwows, but only college and city powwows, never the reservation, never country. Um... She's very trendy in her fashion. Very trendy. Um, and along with her trendy fashion sense, she either rents a very nice apartment in town or is on the way to becoming a homeowner and probably has like 20 years left on her mortgage. She definitely owns her own car. And that car of hers is most likely anywhere between two to three years old at most. Uh, her chosen profession or career choice is one that has absolutely zero ties to Indian country or her reservation. 
That is the urban Indian. Her mom or dad married into the tribe and along with them was adopted by her new mom or dad's family. Making her along with her mom or dad honorary tribal members. But ironically enough, <laughs> she knows more about your culture and tribal customs than you do. And she may even work for the tribe in the culture department and she's working on salary. <laughs> Come on now, don't let that happen. <laughs> she is always in dickies and playing t-shirts with some chucks or some kind of boot on. Um, chances are good it's probably going to be a, a work boot with steel toe. Uh, she's not really a gangster, but at the same time, she's not really res either. She was raised mainly by her dad because her mom died when she was tiny. Prayers. Um, but her dad jumped back and forth between the res and town for work and eventually he began his own business um, She'll surprise you by having expert knowledge on carpentry tools or her way around an engine block um, And as a garnish to that amazement she can and will throw down on the barbecue uh, she will occasionally dress girly and she knows what she was gifted by the gods. <laughs> um, but for the sake of mankind, she only uses those powers for good, never for evil. And the reason why she knows how to dress girly is because the various snags her dad had in her life taught her very well. From posture, to speaking, to dress, to makeup, to hair. Yeah. She is one of those chicks who can work on an engine block in manicured nails and not break a nail. Get done, wash up, put on a dress, and go out on a date with her dude. <laughs> man <laughs> oh man okay let's face facts you either have issues or you have a fetish <laughs> uh, okay this one most likely might be your very first boyhood crush. By the grace of the gods, she has aged gracefully. Genetics. Um, her kids, her oldest kid may be seven to 10 years younger than you. At least seven to 10 years younger than you. There's a good possibility that she may be 15 to 16 or probably 17 years older than you. Because you are one bold mofo. <laughs> you began making moves on her when her oldest graduated high school. <laughs> She had her wild side back in her youth, which caught your attention, but turned her way of life towards the good book since then. After her last relationship, she swore off dating and men until God showed her and put a good man before her. Did I mention that she is vegan? 
Yes, she's vegan. Although she lives the religious life, she still retains a rare sense of humor. And she catches you constantly off guard because her humor is PG-13 at best. But there are subtle hints in her punchlines. And even with her PG-13 humor, she can and will keep up with the best roasters. And who are those roasters? Those roasters are your aunties. Whether it's Call of Duty, whether it's Madden, whether it's RPGs, whether it's NBA 2K Sports, whether it's Grand Theft Auto, what have you. She is down to game across all platforms of the big three, including PC. She is down to game. Um... If she happens to have her own place, whether it be an apartment or a house on the res, there's a good chance that she has a room dedicated solely to gaming. That's a cool chick. Instagram is her claim to Indian country fame. Facebook is her foundation. Twitter is her attempt at being socially conscious. Snapchat is her attempt at being one of the people. <laughs> and YouTube is just a side gig for her makeup tutorials. She's very conversational, but she rarely makes a point or finishes a topic before she busts out her cell phone puts on Snapchat to record the moment. <laughs> but unlike the pretty one, she actually has potential to add to the relationship. Even as we speak right now, your social media princess is working hard and working fast. On her Instagram, she is currently promoting some kind of weight loss tea as well as some kind of waist trainer and charcoal mask. <laughs> Here we go, number one. The number one res chick you will try to snag is... Her family left the res when she was in grade school. And she jumped back and forth between the res and town during her grade school years. Uh, by junior high, she decided to go to school on the res for those two or three years. But the summer of her freshman year of high school, she decided that she'd want to go to high school in town. Um, she made the decision based on um, it create more opportunities for college. Um, better jobs if she want to get a part-time job after school and life experiences in general something that one cannot get on the res because let's face it res life is much like a gif or a gif very entertaining to watch at first but upon further observation it's doing the same thing over and over again <laughs> But although she doesn't really fit in either circle, whether it be city or the res, she knows how to navigate each one. The folk in town are amazed that they know a Native American. <laughs> but her folk on the res look down upon her with disdain because she doesn't come off as res enough. Most of the folk on the res would even call her as coming off white or an apple <laughs> but she has skills you get her on the court and she's trouble last week at the tribal community center she messed around and got a triple double <laughs> she could even throw down fisticuffs 
She is currently working on her blue belt in jujitsu. And on the weekends when she isn't powwowing or traveling, uh, she teaches boxing to the youth at the local youth club in town. Oh, and a little garnish on this number one. She is always, always the first one to fill her hunting tags on the res. <laughs> well, there you have it. Another top 10 res chicks you will try to snag. Good luck. <laughs>